Ladies, gentlemen, everybody in between, my name is Callum Madkid Fernandez and welcome to twitch.tv forward slash Madkid. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different today. I'm just going to do the first section just as a recording because I'm not feeling too well today. But I did actually want to get this uh, idea of mine started. So, um, been watching a lot of speedruns lately. Been watching a lot of um, different ways in which the people have been playing uh, some old school RPGs. And one of those old school RPGs is Final Fantasy IX. Um, where you do a level one perfect game challenge now there is a lot of tricks to it there's a lot of stipulations a lot of this is going to go wrong and i will be streaming the majority of it on now which is why you can see the overlay the way it is i spent a couple of minutes doing that earlier on but for now we're just going to start off by just starting the game we're going to get through the initial part in alexandria and um the uh dead forest i think it's called or something similar to that so basically the trick to the uh level one um perfect save rule is that we are going to be going through the whole game we're going to be collecting every single missable item we're going to defeat every single boss in the game as well as complete every single side quest including the chocobo digging mini game all whilst keeping our party and keeping everything Every, as much as we can at level one there are some stipulations to that there are exactly four boss fights in the game whereby you are forced experience on you whereas every other boss in the game has none um you just get ap for it so there are four bosses that you find across discs two and three i believe where someone's gonna have to take the brunt of the experience and that i'm, I'm leaning just towards giving it to zidane for now um as well as that there are a couple of fights that you can't escape as well so we're going to try a couple of uh, neat little tricks doing that as well while this isn't necessarily going to be a speed run this is going to be something that i will try to go as quickly as i can without missing too much i do have a guide that i found on game facts uh, from oh, way back in like 2013 or something i'll put the link in the, uh, you know the credits of the guide and uh, the links below and everything um and yeah so give this a crack uh hopefully people enjoy it i have trusted my wonderful friends in the discord for the names of the first four characters so um this is gonna be <laughs> we're gonna have some silly silly names which i'm fine with but as you can see there we are aboard uh tantalus on our way to alexandra where we now gain control of zidane our main protagonist. I'm doing it on the PC version, but I will not be using any boosters whatsoever because you can get stuff like maximum eight. Sorry, I'm remembering that. Sound effects, yes. Controls, uh, you want memory, you want weight. Battle camera fixed. Skip battle camera, no. Move set, your automatic run want that on the fast let's get the blue i like the blue there so basically like you can do that so we can get a maximum amount of gill max level master abilities which means that basically i can just do 9999 damage straight off the bat we're not doing that second before we do that we're gonna go grab the potion and the gill that sat here as well and now we go into the first fight of the game where basically you're gonna see us all just uh sit down that is <laughs> the first name that we have so instead of sedan it's sedan shout out to avenge 2366 for that bad boy sure are late. Uh, where's the boss I ain't here yet we're just gonna skip all the way through these you'll be hearing me button mash B as much as possible first thing we're gonna do in the side this fight though is um, get a hold of the mage masher that Barker has so you're gonna see me spend the first couple of rounds just getting everybody stealing um, no real oh what are you doing it window Thank you. 
So we got a potion. Didn't steal anything out of that. Didn't steal anything out of that. Sinner, come on. We're going to continue to steal from him until we get the Mage Mash out. I don't care about the wrist. I was just about to say, I don't care about the wrist, but that's the next thing I stole for fuck's sake. Oh god, Sinner, you just went down like a madman. Come on. Oh, it's going to take a little while. You're going to see me do, every now and again, a uh, soft reset in the game. So if something doesn't go my way, uh, I'm just going to alt F4, reload the save that I have. Because um, you will, otherwise, you'll just see a lot of game over screens. and Or if something doesn't pan out the way I did, there's going to be a certain uh, normal enemy fight that I can't get out of in a bit. That um, I need to have spawn two instead of three. Because if you get spawn two, then you can still keep everyone at level one. Well, good thing this isn't a speed run, eh? Give me the mage masher for fuck's sake. Oi. Then? No? Fine. See if I care. Do, 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 do. Just gonna go. Oh no. Don't auto fight! Fuck. Remember, don't press RT. taking forever and a half i was literally playing this on my um phone earlier but the ps1 port and um I'll tell you what we're gonna do that wasn't a great start Where do we continue from? Oh, good. Just cuts out the middle, uh, the beginning. Which is fine by me because that opening FMV, while it's good, it just takes a good couple of minutes to sit through. I'm just going to do this again very quickly. Wait. Memory. Battle camera fixed. And then we're going to run around here to... Get the potion and the 47 girl. Then we light the candle and the fight Baka. It's down. All right, hopefully we get the mage masher. Like, really early. That's all I need. I just need the Mage Mash. I don't need the wrist. I don't need the potion. Because then what I can do is I can just set everyone to attack themselves. Because this match, uh, this first fight, you can't fail. It's just like almost, almost as much of a test run than anything. Potion. Wrist. Couldn't steal anything. Couldn't steal anything. The Gonna, we're gonna have this again. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Yeah, Mage Masher! Right, everyone, kill yourselves. I 
Okay, good. Cool. It just means that we can skip the rest of that fight without having everyone attack over and over. Yeah, so uh, basically we are we're masquerading as a performance troop, but we are actually here to steal the Princess Garnet from Queen Brun, and we get a load of uh, money for it. It's a very elaborate plan. So basically, now they're flying in to the city of Alexandria. Alexandra? Alexandria? And here's the main homie, VV. Arguably one of the best Final Fantasy characters. The literal embodiment of a black mage. I like the fact that they even updated the FMVs, so they look just a little bit prettier now. Not on a whole load more prettier, but pretty enough. I'm going to sound a little bit sniffly, by the way, so apologies for that, because I think I'm coming down with a cold. Not the best thing to have two weeks before your brother's wedding. But there we go. Alright, here comes the next part where we are taking control of Vivi. Alexandria. I was right. I don't know why I didn't why I thought that was wrong. Okay, so this is the start where we can start to get a couple of items uh, that quite easily can be missed. Because when we actually come back to Alexandria proper later on, it's gonna be a distinctly different place. So first things first, go into this house and steal from this poor old lady. I'm really sorry. Uh, fall over. I did that earlier as well. There's nothing there. You get that by the bed. Some gill. And then you get more gear up here. A fan card. This is, that's one of the free cards that some little fat shit had hidden about the town. See if we can do the frame buffering. There you go. Come on, Puck. Don't be like that, mate. We're all friends here. <laughs> Big old bird. Love it. There's loads of like kind of anthropomorphisms about in Final Fantasy IX. It's quite cool. It's it's one of the ones that really like seven and eight really branched, leaned into the whole hey human punk guys like Squall and Leon. Squall and Leon are the same person. I meant Cloud and Squall. Yikes. I I know my Final Fantasies. I promise. Do, 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 do. Oh, God's sake. You want to go into the house and there's a night, night just around the corner here. 38 gil on the floor. Now, I'm skipping the pub because we can do that in disc free. And we're not going to stamp our uh, thing just yet. you got the three nights of Pluto there. You can't get anything in those houses. You get that on the ground. Phoenix Pinion. Talk to him. Aha, you hit your three precious cards. I'm not going to do... I'm not going to bother with the mini skipping side quest. Got some eye drops. And then we run up the stairs. And get free gill from under the bed. 
Now, I'm doing the first com really game. Uh, I'm going to do the first completely missable side quest. It's not really so much of a side quest as it is a small errand. Tom, the little boy here, his his little kitten, Mittens, has run away. So we are going to go find him. So basically what we've got to do is we've got to go all the way back down to the plaza as you just saw in the bottom of that screen there. We just had our first glimpse of mittens. And we go all the way down to the huge cult yard and we found mittens. It's got like a... Oh, okay. It is actually hair. I thought he had like a... Almost like he looked like a... His head looks like a C dot. Pokemon, hell yeah. Doodaloo, doodaloo. You go right behind this statue around here and you find the Lizard Man card. Which can be used in Triple Triad, but to be honest, I don't think we're going to fuck with that too much. So now, next thing we need to do is go get our ticket stamped. Because Vivi is here to see the play that Zidane. Zidane. And the mercenaries are um, participating in. Hey, mate. Yep, show ticket. Oh, it's another fake. What a shame. Vivi got mugged out of a ticket, spending all of his gill. But we get given free cards as a means of saying sorry. So, I mean, it's not that guy's fault. He's just been a nice, generous dog man. So, dog man, best man. The reason that um, text box li lined up there for so long was because it's what's called rolling text, which means that you can't do anything about it. Ah, oh, there's our friend from earlier, Rat Boy. Hey, you shrimp! Hey, wait a second. We're going to become his slave. tell him the coast is clear so he steals a ladder and we're going to go make our way across the rooftops in order to um, watch the play but before we chase him into there we're going to go talk to Tom very quickly as a gave us a bomb card because we are thebomb.com Go sneaky little item down here. Is it a potion? I thought it was a tent for some reason. Uh, just make sure there's. There's the tent I thought existed in this part of the game. Dun dun dun. Tries to go up the ladder. Ladder with the ladder is not a good idea. Just selling your health and safety. <sighs> Stiltskin. We'll be seeing a little bit of him later on. These Moogles are adorable. The Final Fantasy IX Moogles. Some of the best Moogles in the series. Because they act as little messengers. You send little mail. like They, they send mail to each other. It's called the Mognet. And then we'll talk to Stiltskin because he's he does a couple of little bits for us later on in the game. Sells us some really cool items on the mega cheap as well. Yes, all right, Rat Kid, fuck off. Okay, we're gonna go to the Mognet and the mail system delivery. So we're gonna take that one. We're gonna do our first save here. I don't know what our time is gonna be at actually. I think it's gonna be pretty slow because the amount of time it took to get the Mage Masher. That was just from when I was playing it offline. 13 minutes. Yeah, I'm like five minutes behind speed run pace. Yikes. But 
But that's fine. We're more fussed about the level one and the collecting all the items. But I don't feel like we're going to... There's one item in the game. The, the exclusion of the item, sorry, I should have stipulated, is a weapon called the Excalibur 2, which is um, the most powerful sword in the game, only equipped by Steiner. And unfortunately, it means that you have to get to disc 4, well, back when there were multiple discs, this is a PC version. You have to get to a place called Memoria within 12 hours. And if you get it within 12 hours, then you get Excalibur 2. There's no other way to get the game. To get it in the game. Right, VV was Obliv... VV. So we got Obliv Before we follow Puck, we're going to run down here, across these. We go to these little flower pots above the houses because they all contain gill. And basically, we like money. We're going to have, we need a certain set of money to start getting some items, which will make item synthesis later on in the game a lot easier. Okay, cool. That's the first segment. Now for a performance. This is like the last quote unquote old school Final Fantasy game they made and you can tell it's a love letter to almost anything they've done before right down to like bombastic characters like Queen Bran here that you see on the screen you got the nice sullen princess here the nice stoic knight in Steiner over there who uh, we've got a fantastic name for him <laughs> yeah you can just tell it's just a big celebration of everything that came before and it pretty much heralded a change of things to come as well, because Final Fantasy X was a complete departure from what had come before. <laughs> so amused with himself. She looks like she's about to fall asleep. But I know it's because she's depressed. Right, there is a mini game bit that's going to be coming up in the next couple of minutes, which I, I'm praying that I can just get bang on first time. Because uh, I want 100% because I want the 10,000 gil. But I also want an item called the Moonstone, which is going to be integral to Zidane's success in this run. The play is called I Wanna Be Your Canary. No idea what that's got to do with anything. This is rolling text as well. I'm smashing the B button. <laughs> I hate Sinner. Sinner looks like an absolute nightmare. Nightmare incarnate. So what we're going to try and do is use anyone but Sinner to kill out the two soldiers to the left and right of Bucker and then have everyone else focus on Bucker himself and basically this is going to be the first instance where we try I say try because I've never really fucked with it before um try and manipulate the combat system by using a, a skill called ATB waiting I feel like it's a little bit loud turn it down a little bit so basically the trick to ATB waiting is um Whenever you get into a sub menu within the game, so when you go into attack or steal or magic or anything like that, why is my game great? Okay, so Sinner, you attack King Leo, Blank can take Bonero, and that's what we didn't want to happen. We he can he can have one attack like that, but so basically now what I'm doing here is just holding my ATB in here to make sure that we see what happens blank takes out him so basically as you notice there the combat just froze while i was in the sub menu but that also means that anyone's um atb in the bottom right hand corner freezes as well including the enemies which is also invisible so 
So now it's just a case of whacking him down. We have to fight him this time. We can't just knock ourselves out because this is a play. And in the play, we are the good guys. It's so over dramatic. I'm just gonna turn the volume up ever so slightly. The music. Oh. Okay, so this is the part where I'm talking about where we're gonna have to start doing some sword fighting. Just play pretend sword fighting between him and Blank to distract the crowds. But this is this bit here. We have 49 separate inputs to put in together. So, I just fucked that up already. Okay, so this one's a loss. Oh, what? I pressed square instead of triangle. I love the crowd then. They were like, wow! When they clash swords, so dramatic, dude. Confused X for PlayStation X instead of the uh, PS4 control. Oh, you know what I mean. I'm using Xbox controller. Again, did it again. That was the last one. Put. I'm not going to have good. I'm have like maybe 40 or 50 people impressed by that. So we're going to do that again. 66. That's better than what I thought. Would you like to perform the perform site scene again? Yes, please. We want 100 out of 100. So we're just going to continue to focus on it as we were a minute ago. Do, 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 do. Almost pressed like A for X. Basic button inputs. I know it's not the hardest thing in the world, but when you try to do it at like a speedy clip in order to make it look like a performance, especially when you need to make sure every single input is perfect. Please let me get 100 out of 100. Yes! Second time. That's fine. Quite impressed. Yeah, there you go. 10,000 gold. That's what we needed. So second time's a charm. I'll take it. Blank's just complaining about everything, but he's got Oglops in, in his armor as well. See? Oglops, basically Final Fantasy, different version of a frog almost, or a cricket. <laughs> Go back in here quickly. Mommy. Happen. I didn't know if there was an item in here or not. Okay, never mind. What's the point in that armor? They're basically like fucking. Um, what's her face out of um, Street Fighter? Okay, just making sure. Okay, so we gotta go straight upstairs now. My lady. She sure is dressed funny.
Ha ha. She hit us with the old knit-knap paddywhack. That was Princess Garnet. <gasps> ah, Zorn and Fawn. The right way, I know. I love these two. They just say each other's sentences in different ways. It's simple but effective. Beatrix, love the name. One of the best characters in this game. Mainly because she looks badass as well. Knights of Pluto, assemble! Ha <laughs> ha! Got taken for a mug, taken for a mug. We gotta go talk to Queen Bran again, though. <laughs> Very specific reason we gotta go talk back to Queen Bran. She gives us a moonstone. That's all we wanted. Just make sure there was nothing to pick up there on the way. Nothing in the kitchen for me to pick up. That's bonkers. Just throwing it out there. I know what there is and what there isn't to pick up in the forest. I just can't remember this part of the game. Um, forgot about reading it. You'd think in a giant ass castle like this, you'd pick up something. Try some. Naughty. Ha, Alexandrian cooking is the finest in the realm. One of these doors, I think, has a Moogle in here somewhere. We don't care about what the scholars have to say. We just care about... Oh. Honest to God. Thought that was going to be something interesting. But this is all just exposition. To be fair, a knight commander wouldn't go picking stuff up off the floor, would he? First to be the knight, you got to think as the knight. A 
if you notice that that soldier look at the side of his face the right side that's blank cheeky fuck just gotta make sure gotta make sure gotta make sure Motherfucker slacking on the job. the kind of Alexandria Castle bit done. Couple more FMVs now. Miss some items, gotta go back. Mucking about. Uh, help if I had the window open. Take control of Steiner again because you can get a uh, cheap elixir uh, this early on in the game uh, just by chastising all of the knights that are doing naffle. But I need to make sure that I get it right. Oh no, why did caps lock come on? Fat fingers. Sorry, we're right back to exactly where we were meant to be. Run back up, you get the moonstone. Ah, 
Hummer's gonna be bad. Yeah, 25. Fucking wasted 12 minutes there. Okay, so... It says, enter the door under the walkway and catch the... Oh, running on this balcony. Got you. There's one guy running around here somewhere that we need to speak to. This is the one. I meant to catch them out. Got him. Have a go at this night. Left room. Leave the castle now. Okay, so we've got to go talk to Blank. Well, we don't have to, but it just helps out and make sure. Talk to Hagen, tell him to get off their lazy asses. Go talk to the two ones flirting. I'm running up the stairs to the one that's running up the stairs. Out of breath, you catch him out. And hopefully, if I've done this correctly, I'll get an elixir out of it. There we go. Got the elixir. We're good. to no more skipping cutscenes. <laughs> I'm gonna jump. See ya. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's the face. It's the face.
<laughs> now he's the canary. Okay, so now we should be back in control of Zidane. That's the one. <laughs> I love the way the music changes when she spins them around. It's just a nice little clever touch. So basically the Moonstone allows us to have Beast Killer. We want Flea Gill on, for sure. Uh, we'll keep Protect Girls and that on anyway. Ruby! That's why we don't call her Ruby. Ruby! Damn it. I want you to kidnap me. I wish to be kidnapped straight away. I love the little homage to white mages that they get going on when she has that hoodie on. Love little scene of the blossoming, you know, love between the two. <laughs> Silly nights. Ain't no dead end, is it, boy? I swear, I'm going to get arthritis. The amount of times I'm spamming. Using the keyboard to spam through cutscenes. <laughs> it might be the trick because I could use spacebar and enter. Once in a boiler room, turn the lever both ways to get two treasure chests from the ceiling. And then we twist it right as well. All right, Sinner, I get it. Phoenix down here on the floor. Phoenix pinion. Go through this door here, yeah. Okay, so the first battle is against Steiner. We are going to have 
Zidane attack him, but we're also going to use Sinner and Blank to try and steal um, two items from him. Uh, silk shirt and a leather hat. Silk shirt, done. Leather hat, done. Sinner, let's do this. Oh shit, I got it on memory, haven't I? What a waste of a turn. Come on, Papa Pump. Show us what you got, boy. Not much. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Three of them are just going for it. Like, hate it, hate it. Why is this an idea? This bit's amazing just purely because uh, Papa Pump, he um, comes in really handy in this situation. So what we're going to do in the next two fights, because he's never going to attack Garnet, is uh, basically just knock all three of us out. Uh, Sinner, Blank, and Zadam. Uh... Whoa! Poor Sinner! I just see him getting hit with that knick-knack paddywhack. You can probably hear it in a microphone as well at certain points. Just actually, let's just try this out. <laughs> oh, he's just the perfect goon. <laughs> Garnet dies so that her father may live and then you just got Steiner he thinks it's over the perfect story <laughs> oh no, come on. Puck just leaves you for dead to get caught by the Pluto Knights. What a dickhead. <gasps> no. <gasps> Vivi. Cannot comply. Words cannot compute. Here we go. Right, so basically we're just going to knock ourselves out and just leave Garnet alive uh, for the next two fights. It just makes everything go a lot quicker. It's 
So as you can see, we're just killing time to let the homies do the work underneath the ship, get the airship moving. So now the Tantalus uh, is up on its way to go. Make the grand escape with the queen, with the uh, princess intact. And they have some cannons with chains just for the occasion because that's a thing that happens regularly in um, Alexandria apparently Old bomb bomb. So we could basically just continue to fight until the bomb on behind them is um then Zidane knocks himself out. Marcus knocks himself out as well. We're lucky that we had the animation from um, We'll just have her defend to kill time so that the bomb bomb gets big enough to blow up and end the fight, which is now. Somehow still survived. Just about. There's a little significance, and I've only just picked up on it, that Garnet, she's wrapped around that um, hook that's come into the um, airship. And that was one of the ones that had a chain on it. So that obviously like drag it back. And she's in a way signifies that the ch her chain has been broken she's been freed from her shackles of her mother the queen again could be reading into it too much but i think that's what happened The experiments are ready to come out. I'm on the edge of the world. No, you're not just in a forest, mate. A little bit of Bring Me the Horizon came into my brain for no reason.
Vamos embora. I'll watch the ATU active time events, which are basically mini stories that are happening elsewhere while where you wherever your character is. So Vivi and um, Oblivivi and uh, Garnet so far, we haven't been able to rename her. And they're um, in the middle of a jungle. Uh, let's make sure items. Poor old Moscow, got no mail. I'm 14 minutes off of the pace. Evil forest. Now, there are items on every single screen here, but what we're going to do, we've got the Mage Masher, Leverus. Let's optimize that. Uh, is, is he going to be equipping the silk shirt? Leather shirt for um, protect girls we want. Uh, flea girl, no. So what we want in this situation is to get through this area without getting any random encounters. Which is fine, we can just flee. My brain tells me that I need to fight this, but I'm not. Not what I wanted to do because it means I drop gill. Okay, so we got. Okay, so we're going to trance here, which basically shows off effectively limit breaks. A surge in emotion trance. Right, it's going to get one round off where it's going to sap energy, but we only want free energy. We're not going to be using the other one for now. If we use Tidal Flame, it hits all enemy targets, which means that we'll be buggered in terms of um, saving Garnet because we'll accidentally kill her. We go right that's the first fight done Damn it, Vivi! Oh, 
Alright, so we want Zadam to attack the prison cage because we uh, steal from the prison cage because he has a um, broadsword that we can just steal, which will become very handy later on when we um, take something off a flank. So it should, yeah, it's 100% steal rate, which is good. We're kind of okay to just continue just spamming attack for now, just because um, there's not much else we can do here. That should be the end of the fight there, I think. Yeah. So we got a VV out. So you see, and luckily, in that forced fight there, didn't get any experience which is perfect it's just what we wanted Zanero and Bonero just bullying Papa Pompin to um, staying safe. Just drink it, you pleb. Hey, not bad. Every room in the Prima Vista has got an item in. So we're going to search every room. We're going to skip any and all um, active time events because yeah, they're just a waste of time. I don't care about him saying thank you to me. I, want, I care about items. Mr. Zazam. 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 It's getting a flashback already to the first time we met her. I knew I loved her at the very first time. The very first time. It looks like they're having an argument. It's just like... My God, what are you doing? You're so stupid. Don't do this. Get out of here. What's up, Blank? Treasure on every screen. We 
go down here, there should be another item here somewhere. There we go. Leather hat. <laughs> Bless you. We gotta prove to Baku that we're a man and we're gonna go rescue Garnet from the clutches of a monster. Luckily with the Mage Masher it should only take three attacks. So we just gotta kind of like face tank his attacks. Kinda of hoping he'd miss that so I don't have to use any potions or anything like that. Do 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 there you go, you missed it. Which is fine by me. There, third attack should be done. Lovely. I'll be damned. It's basically just look. I'm gonna go save the princess. If you want to join me, join me. If you're gonna be a prick about it, fuck off. Oblivivi. I'm gonna go grab him. But first, run back in and grab Aoife. Grabbing the Aoife's are gonna be really handy because um, we can just sell those at the shop and uh, make a buttload of money off of it early on in the game. We could probably sell the elixir as well. You're a mage, you can do a load of shit, dude. Magic sword. I'll be coming hand hand. Needs to remember how to get out of here now. Oh, idiot. forgot about this room potions are always going to be handy because for the majority of this game our characters are going to be like almost like sub 100 hp And we are going to save it there for now. Because um, it's getting late. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so just having a look uh, in terms of the run and about speed, uh, like speed run timing, we're roughly about nine minutes off the pace, so not the end of the world. We have lost nine gil, though. We are nine gil behind. Honestly, I don't know why my webcam's doing and the things it's doing lately. I'm going to try and update the drivers because the white balance, everything like, like the saturation and all that's just too, too much. I don't know. I hate it. Anyway, I'm going to go upload this up onto twitch.tv forward slash madkid now. Uh, so if anybody's got time to watch, they can. Um, but yeah, appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to try and do this on stream next time. I just wanted to get the beginning bit out of the way because I know the beginning bit can be a bit of a slog. Uh, now we're going to go rescue the princess and uh, start our grand old adventure. Anyway, bye.